How's it going, 8 Imaging fans? Welcome back to the lab for another 2 Minute Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about our NDI cameras and some optimal settings you can do to enhance or improve your NDI stream right now. This will pertain to our PTZ NDI series as well as our HD NDI 200 camera and any other NDI camera that comes out by us later on. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's jump right into this. So there are a couple things to consider when optimizing your NDI stream. And the best way for us to help determine what you need is to break it up into three easy sections. First one being low bandwidth NDI, second one being medium bandwidth NDI, and the last one being high bandwidth NDI. Of course, everyone wants high bandwidth NDI, but you need the right equipment and settings to properly utilize it. And that can run up the build price, especially on a budget. But don't worry though, because this is what's great about NDI. You can achieve a great looking stream with the bare minimum equipment. I like to think of low bandwidth NDI like cold pizza. It may not be as good as hot pizza, but you know what? Pizza's still pizza and that's great. Jokes aside, let's see how to optimize your NDI settings for the first section, low bandwidth. For low bandwidth settings, this is usually for computers without a graphics card or you have a upload speed lower than one megabyte per second. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change the resolution to 1280 by 720, which is 720p. We're gonna multiply this 4096 default uh, bit rate by 1.5, which comes out to be, I believe, 6144. And then we're going to change our frame rate down to 60. For your iframe interval, you're going to go ahead and change this to 120. Uh, and that'll give you the best optimal stream for low bandwidth. Now, moving on to medium bandwidth. Uh, this is a computer that may have a graphics card or a lower end graphics card. And your upload speed's a lot faster. Probably a little bit more than one megabyte per second. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change this back to 1080p. We're going to double the default bit rate, which was 8192 now. Change the frame rate down to 30 and we're gonna change the iframe interval down to 60. So notice for the iframe interval, I'm just doubling whatever the frame rate is. So this is medium. And then lastly, we have our highest tier. This is a computer with a dedicated graphics card that's recently new and a upload speed of three megabytes probably or more. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep it 1080p. We're gonna go ahead and change this to three times the original, which is gonna be 12288, I believe. Frame rate's gonna be 60 now. And then you're gonna change your iframe interval to double that, so that's gonna be 120. And that's it. Please keep in mind that these settings are not universal and they will work for some, but not all. It depends on the amount of cameras you have, network congestion, and so on. If you have anything specific, you can go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try and help you out. But if you did like this content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss the next Two Minute Tuesday. That's all I got for today. I'll see you next week.